Okay, today's video is about ion weapons and how they work. Um, ion weapons work by disabling systems for the duration of the ion. So, uh, different weapons do different amounts of ion damage. The Ion Blast 1 here does 1 ion damage. You can see it says in the text there. Heavy Ion does 2 ion damage. Ion Bomb does 4 ion damage. Um, uh, what 1 ion damage means is that it will disable one bar of a system for 5 seconds. 2 ion damage means it disables two bars for 10 seconds. Um, we'll demonstrate that momentarily. Additionally, Ion does double damage to Zoltan shields, as you'll uh, see here. The uh, the two Ion damage from the heavy Ion does four damage to the Zoltan shield there, and the uh, the Ion blast one here does two damage to the Zoltan shield, like so. Now the. Um, if the enemy has shields up, you'll always hit their shields instead of whatever other system you're aiming at, just like if you're firing lasers or something like that. If the shields are down, then you can ionize other systems as well. The, uh, the main use of ion weapons is to lock down the enemy shield so your other weapons can get through. Um, this, this works because you can kind of clean up the ion damage on the enemy shields and uh, keep them locked down. So you'll see here when we fire a bunch of ion. The first ion uh, stuns one bar for one second. The second ion is now two bars for ten seconds. I think I just said one second, I meant five seconds there. Each uh, number on this uh, dial here represents five seconds. And then that third ion is now three bars for fifteen seconds. So now those shields are going to be down for fifteen seconds. If I had other damaging weapons we could send them in to, uh, to wreck the enemy ship there. Um, because you generally want to use ion to tear down the enemy shields like this, this is why heavy ion is not a very strong weapon. Um, you see, their heavy ion is only able to lock down one shield bubble of mine, and if I, I do the same thing to theirs, I fire it again, you'll see that uh, their system will come back online, the shields will be back up before the ion can stick because it'll, it'll recover in time, it fires too slow. So that's why Heavy Ion's a worse weapon, where things like the Charge Ion, the Ion Bomb, the Ion Blast 2, uh, those can all lock down multiple shields by themselves. So they, they end up being much stronger weapons. Um, and I mentioned that the number represents how long it stays stacked there. It, uh, the longest you can stack is 25 seconds. It can't uh, charge up more time stored um, for a system to be ionized than that. And um, this also works with stuff like cloaking or teleports. Uh, those are effectively ionizing themselves when they activate. And uh, you can keep them disabled longer by ionizing them further. Um, in general, ion is strongest when combined with uh, drone setups or beam setups, but it does work just fine with uh, laser setups as well. Um, we'll talk a little bit about the individual ion weapons now here. Ion Blast 1 by itself is basically just like a laser. You're taking down one, one layer of shields for one power. Not too exciting, but still useful. Um, Heavy Iron also only does that same amount, it only takes down one shield by itself, but if you combine with other Iron weapons it can take down more, so it can be more powerful that way. The, uh, the way you usually want to use this Charge Iron here that shoots three shots, you most of the time you want to have it charged up to the three shots to start, and then after it fires all three shots, then you can set it to uh, auto-fire repeatedly to keep it down, so you'll see it's uh, refreshing every time it hits the shields here so that it uh, keeps keeps their shields down for a long time. It's very slowly losing time as you can see but it's it's gonna last a long time keeping them down this way even longer if you have a trained uh, weapons officer. The uh, ion bomb is very very powerful with four ion damage for only one power but it also charges very slowly. Um, this can take down two shield bubbles with one single shot, so it can be very powerful, but of course it uses missiles as well, so that is a concern. Uh, the other ion weapons we don't have here, we've got the, uh, the Ion Blast 2, which is basically like having two Ion Blasts combined into one weapon, but it requires three power instead. Uh, by itself, it's enough to just sit there auto-firing at shields, locking them down by itself. Solid weapon indeed. 
Um, the chain ion, however, is not so good. Uh, the charge ion lets you store three shots. The chain ion does more ion damage with each shot, so it does up to four ion damage uh, every four seconds, or uh, sorry, 13 seconds that it fires, which sounds pretty good. Like, that's a lot more than the ion bomb. It fires a lot faster than the ion bomb, but it takes so long to charge up that the charge ion is not very good, and it requires three power to use. Just not a very good weapon in general. Um, let's see here. But uh, that's, that's most of how Ion works. One other thing I want to uh, mention as far as Ion weapons go is that uh, there's a bit of a myth about Ion weapons that it's uh, beneficial to tier your shots. Like if you have two Ion Blast ones, you don't want to fire them at the same time. But that doesn't matter at all. It doesn't, doesn't make any difference. So we're going to treat this as an Ion Blast 1 here. So we'll fire the Ion Blast 1 and the charge Ion at the same time. Those will both stick like so, and you see it uh, It still takes out two bars for ten seconds. It doesn't matter if I fired them at the same time or spread out the way they fired, but uh, that's how ion damage works.